This is Nurse of Death, the Lucy Letby story, a gripping true crime podcast that takes you deep into the chilling tale of allegations against Lucy Letby, a seemingly caring and dedicated nurse who harbored a dark secret. Join us as we unravel the twisted journey of a medical professional whose actions sent shockwaves throughout the healthcare community. It's the story of a nurse who went from saving lives to becoming the harbinger of death. This is Nurse of Death, the Lucy Letby story. A chilly autumn evening shrouded the Countess of Chester Hospital's neonatal unit as 33-year-old nurse Lucy Letby approached a baby girl's crib, a sinister plan brewing in her mind. The premature infant, child I, lay peacefully in her crib, blissfully unaware of the terror that awaited her. The infant's mother, only days before, had begun to notice her daughter's health improving, her tiny frame beginning to fill out and her eyes scanning the room with newfound curiosity. A sense of hope bloomed within her as she imagined bringing her daughter home soon. On October 23, 2015, in the early hours of the morning, the mother's dreams were shattered. Letby had allegedly murdered the infant on her fourth attempt, injecting air into her feeding tube and bloodstream. The heinous act occurred within the sterile walls of the neonatal unit, where innocent lives were meant to be nurtured and protected. Letby, a seemingly reserved individual compared to her fellow nurses, interacted little with the parents of the infants in her care. Yet, she offered to take photographs of child eye as the infant bathed, a seemingly kind gesture from a nurse with a hidden dark side. Letby now stands accused of murdering seven babies and attempting to murder ten others between June 2015 and June 2016. The jurors at Manchester Crown Court listened with rapt attention as they began to hear evidence about the nurse's ninth alleged victim, Child I. Born in Liverpool Women's Hospital in August 2015, she was transferred to the Countess of Chester Hospital for further care. The infant's mother, her voice choked with emotion, recounted the harrowing tale of her daughter's last days. The fateful night of October 23 began with a phone call. The infant's mother received the grim news that she and her partner needed to rush to the hospital. Upon arrival, they saw Lethley, alongside another nurse, Ashley Hudson, and consultant Dr. John Gibbs, frantically working to resuscitate child eye. The infant's life hung by a thread, her vital signs flatlining with every pause in resuscitation. In a heart-wrenching decision, the infant's mother asked Dr. Gibbs to stop the efforts, realizing the futility of their attempts. The infant was pronounced dead, leaving her parents to mourn in a private room. Nurse Hudson and Letby approached the grieving parents, offering to help them bathe their daughter's body. Letby's smile and insistent chatter grated on the bereaved mother's nerves, a cruel reminder of the first bath she had helped with only days prior. In the aftermath, Dr. Gibbs mentioned the need for an autopsy due to the unexpected nature of child eye's death. Despite the mother's reluctance, it was necessary to clear the hospital's name. Months later, during the trial, prosecutor Nick Johnson, KC, described the death of child eye as an extreme example, even by the standards of this overall case. A sympathy card sent by Letby to the infant's parents, along with an image of it stored on her phone, added to the macabre nature of the case. Defense attorney Ben Myers Casey argued that Letby did not harm child eye, attributing her clinical problems to her extreme prematurity. Text messages exchanged between Letby and her colleague, Dr. Alison Ventress, revealed a seemingly ordinary conversation about a potential visit to New Zealand. Letby expressed her reluctance to leave her parents, who resided in Hereford, and confessed to feeling guilty for staying in Chester. In a subsequent text to her mother, Susan, Letby excitedly announced her plans to visit home for Christmas. As the trial continues, the chilling details of the alleged murders and attempts committed by Lucy Letby, a once-trusted nurse, send shivers down the spines of those in the courtroom. The haunting juxtaposition of her seemingly ordinary life with the horrendous acts she stands accused of leaves many reeling. Families who once trusted her with their fragile newborns are now forced to confront the unimaginable horrors that occurred within the walls of the neonatal unit. (laughs) 
This is Nurse of Death, the Lucy Letby story, a gripping true crime podcast that takes you deep into the chilling tale of allegations against Lucy Letby, a seemingly caring and dedicated nurse who harbored a dark secret. Join us as we unravel the twisted journey of a medical professional whose actions sent shockwaves throughout the healthcare community. It's the story of a nurse who went from saving lives to becoming the harbinger of death. This is Nurse of Death, the Lucy Letby story.